This is lesson 17 of 20 lessons on how to build a Joomla website. In this lesson, I introduce you to the Joomla Media Manager and show you how to add images to your articles. Before you start working with images, it's important to understand something about image sizes. If you've worked with photos for a while online, you'll no doubt be well familiar with this. But if you're new, then this is an important concept to understand. Images, particularly photos taken with modern digital cameras, can be very large, both in terms of the size they take up on your screen and the physical file size. If you don't resize images before putting them on your web page, they will look out of proportion to the rest of the page, and your visitors will get frustrated as they wait a long time for the image to be displayed. So, it's important to resize images before placing them in your articles. You can, of course, do this using software on your computer, and if you already know how to do this, then just keep using your preferred method. However, if you're unfamiliar with this process, let me demonstrate how to resize images using a free online application called PicMonkey. In your browser, go to www.picmonkey.com. Click Edit a Photo and then find the appropriate image on your local computer. Select the file and click open or whatever your browser specifies. Your image will open and you'll see several buttons to the left. Click the resize button and enter your desired dimensions. Now this part is harder to advise as Joomla templates have different widths and so the first time you do this, you might need to make a few versions until you discover a size that works well with your site design. In this case, I'll go with 480 pixels wide. And if you keep the Keep Proportions box checked, you'll see that the height will automatically be adjusted. Click Apply and that's all you have to do to resize. But note that this tool also includes several other features, such as cropping here, colours, and more. When you have finished, click the Save button at the top of the page. The existing file name is entered in the first box, but you might like to change this so you don't accidentally overwrite your original. Leave the quality option at the middle setting and click the Save Photo button. This opens a window allowing you to save the photo back to your local computer. Now go to the Joomla Administrator. Once you've logged in, go to Content Media Manager. This is where you can upload images and any other files. Notice that there are a few sample images there already, as well as a couple of sample subfolders called Banners and Sample Data. Uploading a new image is easy. Just click the Choose Files button, find the image you wish to upload on your local computer, and double click it. Then click the Start Upload button. Now that your image has been uploaded, head over to the Article Manager. Under the Content menu, click Article Manager. I'm going to search for the article I wrote before by entering the word Geography here. And clicking Search. Click on the title to edit. Now decide where you want your image to go. In my case, I'll place it at the right hand side of the first paragraph. Click in the editor at the position where you want it. Even though I want my image on the right, I'll click here at the start of the paragraph. Now look underneath the editor and click the image button. A new window appears, showing you all the files in the Images folder. 
click the appropriate image and provide a short description here. Also choose where you would like the image to appear, either at the left or the right of your insertion point. Finish by clicking the insert button at the top right. You can now see that your image has been inserted, but you still need to save the article. At this point you can go to the front end to view the change. Remember that there's a shortcut to this here in the top right. Clicking View Site displays the home page in a new tab and clicking the link that was created earlier displays the article that now includes the image that was inserted. One final point with images. When you have a few images to upload, you'll probably find it easiest to use the Media Manager. However, you might have noticed another possibility. Let's go back to Administrator and click anywhere within the article. Now click the Image button again. Did you notice the Upload Files section here? You can start writing an article and insert an image straight into the images folder from here. Then select it as before and insert. That's all you need to know to getting started with images. It's now time to talk about the look of your site, which is explored in the next lesson, Joomla Templates. Oh. <sighs>